Hi friends! Back with a brand new story time today. This time the book is Lost for Words by Natalie Russell. Taper had some pencils and a nice new notebook, but he didn't know what to write. He stared at the clean page and tried to think of something, anything, but nothing popped into his head. It felt empty, just like his page. Have you ever had a time where you needed to write and you couldn't think of anything and maybe your head felt empty of thoughts? What do you think? I've definitely felt like that before. Taper's friends could write words easily about things that meant a lot to them. Giraffe was writing a poem about his favorite tree. He'd chewed its leaves as he wrote. You are tall and thin, my perfect tree. You reach so high, just like me. Your leaves so juicy and good to chew. Oh, precious tree, I do love you. Giraffe had a way with words. That was a nice poem. Hippo was in his muddy pool writing an exciting story. Once upon a time, there lived a very handsome hippo. One day, while doz dozing in the pool, he heard a bird cry for help. What a disaster! She was stuck in the mud. The very handsome hippo swam bravely to her rescue. My hero, chirped bird. Thank goodness the handsome hippo was an excellent swimmer. The end. Hippo always knew how to begin a story and how it would end. He was very clever. Flamingo was composing a song about the sun. She hummed softly as she wrote, mm, When the sun shines brightly in the sky, I feel so happy I want to fly. I stretch my neck and fluff my feathers. For me, sunshine is the best of weathers. But when the clouds come and the rain, my long, long legs begin become cold again. Her song was so perfect, it brought a tear to Taper's eye. His friends sure do have a lot of good ideas. I must be doing something wrong, thought Taper. So he tried humming. Hmm, 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 hmm. And wallowing. <sighs> he even chewed on some juicy leaves. But no words came. The harder he tried, the grumpier he felt. Hmm. I wonder if anyone else has ever felt grumpy when they're trying to write. They're struggling with it. I certainly have. When I can't think of something and I really want to be able to write it, but nothing's coming to my head and I'm trying hard, I definitely feel grumpy sometimes. It's not fair, said Taper. I don't know what to write. Don't worry, said his friends. You'll think of something. But Taper wasn't so sure. He walked away. far away to a quiet place on top of the hill. Taper looked out at the beautiful view and began to think. Then very carefully, he opened his notebook and unpacked his pencils. I like that he found a quiet place. Sometimes we just need a little bit of quiet to help us out. And without a word, he drew the sun, big and round, right at the top of his page. A bright sun, especially for a flamingo. Under the sun, Taper drew the river, long and winding down to the pool where Hippo liked to play. He added plenty of mud to keep Hippo happy. Next to Hippo's pool, he drew a tall tree. Taper covered it in fresh green leaves because he knew Giraffe would like it that way. When Taper had finished, he looked proudly at what he'd drawn, but there was something missing. 
What do you think is missing? Three friends, so important that they needed a page all of their own. Who are his three friends? The same characters we heard about earlier. Giraffe, Flamingo, and Hippo. Taper rushed back to show his friends what he'd drawn. How wonderful you are, said Giraffe. You draw so well, said Hippo. It's beautiful, whispered Flamingo, wiping a tear from her eye. Taper didn't need words after all, not one. His colorful drawing said everything he wanted to say. And they said it perfectly. That end. That's the end of our story. Something I really love about this is it's a good reminder that we can't always express everything we want through words. And be um, beautiful pictures and pictures, they have a way of expressing and talking on their own. Just like when we can tell a story through pictures, you can draw and tell a story through pictures yourself. So give it a try. What kind of drawing and what kind of story can you tell through pictures? And I will see you in our next video. Bye.